Hello everyone, this is Aaron Dolan. I'd like to talk to you today about selecting capacitors. As an example, we'll use this 40-year-old Yamaha receiver. It's a Yamaha Model A500, and it was built somewhere around 40 years ago. To demonstrate this process, we'll focus on this large electrolytic capacitor shown in the front here. That's a 50 volt, 220 microfarad capacitor. One of the first things we'll need to do is determine the diameter of the capacitor. Using this vernier caliper, we can see that the capacitor has a diameter of about 13 millimeters. If you prefer, you could measure it in inches. So in this case, using this dial caliper, you can see that it is somewhere around 0.5 0.51, 0.52 inches in diameter. The next step is to gain access to the bottom of the printed circuit board. This particular receiver is very nice as there's an access cover that can be unscrewed. Once you've gained access to the bottom of the circuit board, you can use the caliper to measure the distance between the capacitor's leads. In this case, it's about five millimeters. Once again, that's a 50 volt, 220 microfarad capacitor with a lead spacing of five millimeters and a diameter no more than 13 millimeters. Knowing that information, we can go to DigiKey and find an appropriate replacement. Let's look for a capacitor. An aluminum electrolytic. Capacitance was 220 microfarads. The working voltage was 50 volts. The lead spacing was 5 millimeters. Let's see what's left. So 273 results. Ranging in price from 13 cents a piece up to five dollars a piece. I suspect many of these capacitors would work just fine for that application. However, I'm going to go over here and select audio, which yields 10 capacitors that were specifically designed for audio amplification. I believe they're all Nichicon, and there's two different series here. There's the UFW, which is a mid-grade cap. There's the UFG, which is a slight improvement, and there might be a UKZ. Nope, apparently not. Uh, let's go ahead and take this one, which is the UFG series. And let's see, what were our specs again? 220 microfarads, 50 volts, the lead spacing is five millimeters, and this capacitor has a 12.5 millimeter diameter, which is smaller than what we originally had. The height is not terribly important for our application because there's plenty of height in that receiver. Let's look at the data sheet. Here we go. These are Nichicon capacitors, specifically designed for audio equipment. Here's the series of the capacitors I mentioned. So UFW is good if you want something better, this UFG series. And then if you want something that's even better performance, the UKZ series might be appropriate for you. That's all for now, folks. I wish you the best in all your repairs.